So, hello and welcome to my talk on the OpenStreetMap standard layer and who is using it. Who am I, first of all? I'm a member of the Operation Workings Group, which is responsible for planning uh, and it, the infrastructure needed to run the OpenStreetMap website and related sites. I'm also a maintainer of OpenStreetMap Carto and other parts of the rendering stack but I'm not here representing OpenStreetMap Cardo, OSM to PG SQL, or my employer. So first of all, what is the OpenStreetMap standard layer? It's a default layer on OpenStreetMap.org. So but everything you see in the, in the red outline here is the standard layer. We use OpenStreetMap Cardo as the style, but OpenStreetMap Cardo is an independent project that is also used elsewhere. Uh, unconnected with the OpenStreetMap Foundation. We use our RenderD plus mod tile stack, which operates using a large store of previously rendered map tiles and have a content delivery network in front. So there's two levels of caching for any request before it hits the rendering database. Um, this is a well-established uh, tile rendering stack, um, but no, no, not the newest. It, wor it works well for our use case. So this is about who's using it. What type of requests do we get? A big one chunk of requests are actually blocked. We have a tile usage policy, and those that aren't following it may be blocked. This is actually about 30% of requests, because some blocked programs are badly written and just keep retrying forever. Often, they're trying to fetch map tiles that don't even make sense. They aren't on Earth. Um, and we, and uh, so obviously we can't serve them a map tile. Um, in you can see too, this is the global usage. It peaks at around forty thousand requests per second during the day. Um, so, switching subjects slightly, what are we logging? Um, with the switch to uh, the commercial CDN we're using, we've improved our logging significantly and now have the tools to both log and analyze those logs. We uh, log enough information to see what sites and programs are using the map and some additional debugging information. Importantly, for this talk, we log the country. So I can present the figures on just the US usage, not the global usage. That's people viewing the map from the US, not people viewing the map of the US from maybe elsewhere. So US traffic is about a tenth of the global traffic. And as you can see, it's primarily in the week at, in the weekday during the daytime. Business hours sort of. Um, we can and we can break this down to further for not just when is it being used, but who is using it with a type of chart called a tree map. Uh, this is a tree map of the U.S. usage of the OpenStreetMap standard layer. So the left half of it is browsers from websites, including OSM.org, but also some government sites, some GIS-related sites, uh, a lot of sites. Um, and on the right is apps. So in purple are GIS apps like QGIS and ArcGIS. Um, and uh, others, but the two biggest groups here are other. So these are small sites or apps with less than one tile per second traffic. Um, that is, you, you, uh, you can shift that threshold around, but the, we have a very long tail of sites using it, using our tiles that individually are very small. Um, but focusing on two, OpenStreetMap and QGIS, this is one way to measure that it. it's, it's the tiles per second on the CDN. Another way is the tiles per second that are cached missing, so that hit, those that hit the actual OSMF servers. This is a lot fewer, obviously, but something you can see is that both OpenStreetMap and QGIS are a much bigger proportion. This is because on, in GIS apps and on open, the OpenStreetMap website, people tend to go to somewhere and then zoom in, pan around, 
view a lot of tiles that people have not viewed recently. So they're not in the caches, so they go, so they have to go to the back end. <clears throat> you can also see in uh, bright blue color, there's fakes. These are um, programs that are pretending to be some other program. Uh, and they have since been blocked, but this is the traffic for during four weeks. And the, they weren't blocked at the time. Um, so what's upcoming with the standard layer? We're increasing the render capacity in Europe. Uh, that is currently ongoing. Um, and we're looking at more efficient distribution of tile requests, possibly more frequent re-rendering of low zooms, which are done on a different schedule, and resuming publishing lists of how often each tile is viewed. Uh, if you want to help us out, we've got a public site, an issue tracker, and you can email us at operations at osmfoundation.org.